Hey, movie lovers. Welcome back to Real Recap, where we break down the latest and greatest movies. Over 30 years after graduating from Top Gun, United States Navy Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell is a test pilot. Despite Maverick's many distinguished achievements, repeated insubordination has kept him from flag rank. His friend and former Top Gun rival, Admiral Tom Iceman Kazansky, is commander of the U.S. Pacific Fleet and often protects Maverick from being grounded. Rear Admiral Chester Hammer Kane plans to shut down Maverick's Dark Star scramjet program in favor of funding drones. To save the program from cancellation, Maverick changes the flight plan in the upcoming test from Mach 9 to Mach 10 to meet the program's contract specification. The prototype is destroyed, however, when Maverick pushes beyond Mach 10. Iceman again saves Maverick's career by ordering him to NAS North Island for his next assignment, but Hammer warns Maverick that the era of crewed fighter aircraft will soon end. The Navy has been tasked with destroying an unsanctioned uranium enrichment plant, which sits in a deep depression at the end of a canyon. It is defended by surface-to-air missiles, SAMs, GPS jammers, and what appear to be fifth-generation Su-57 fighters. Maverick devises a plan to attack with two pairs of F-A-18E and F-A-18F Super Hornets. He learns that he will not take part in the strike. Instead, he is to train an elite group of Top Gun graduates assembled by Air Boss Vice Admiral Bo Cyclone Simpson. Maverick outdog fights his skeptical students to win their respect. Lieutenants Jake Hangman Saracen and Bradley Rooster Bradshaw, son of Maverick's late best friend and Rio Nick Goose Bradshaw, clash. Rooster dislikes Hangman's cavalier attitude, while Hangman criticizes Rooster's cautious flying. Maverick reunites with former girlfriend Penny Benjamin, to whom he reveals that Rooster's mother made him promise before she died that Rooster would not become a pilot. Rooster, unaware of the promise, resents Maverick for impeding his military career and blames him for his father's death. Maverick is reluctant to further interfere with Rooster's career, but the alternative is to send him on the extremely dangerous mission. He tells his doubts to Iceman, who has terminal throat cancer. Before dying, Iceman advises that it's time to let go and reassures him that the Navy needs Maverick. With Maverick's protector, Iceman, gone, Cyclone removes him as instructor following a training incident in which an F-A-18 is lost. Cyclone relaxes the mission parameters so they are easier to execute but make escape much more difficult. During Cyclone's announcement, Maverick makes an unauthorized flight through the training course with his preferred parameters, proving that it can be done. Cyclone reluctantly appoints Maverick as team leader. Maverick flies the lead F-A-18E in the strike package, accompanied by a buddy lazing F-A-18F flown by Lt. Natasha Phoenix Trace and Lt. Robert Bob Floyd. Rooster leads the second strike pair, which includes Lt. Ruben Payback Fitch and Lt. Mickey Fanboy Garcia. The four jets launch from an aircraft carrier, and Tomahawk cruise missiles destroy the nearby airbase as they approach. The teams successfully destroy the plant, but are engaged by SAMs during their escape. Rooster runs out of countermeasures, and Maverick sacrifices his jet to protect Rooster. Believing Maverick to be killed, the others are ordered back to the carrier. Rooster returns to find that Maverick safely ejected and is being targeted by an MI-24 gunship. After destroying the gunship, he is shot down by a SAM and a Jex. The two rendezvous and steal an F-14 Tomcat from the destroyed airbase. Maverick and Rooster destroy two intercepting Su-57S, but a third arrives as they run out of ammunition and countermeasures. Hangman arrives from standby to shoot down the Su-57, and the planes return safely. Later, Rooster helps Maverick work on his P-51 Mustang. Rooster looks at a photo of their mission's success, pinned alongside a photo of his late father and a young Maverick as Penny and Maverick fly off into the sunset in the P-51. Thanks for joining us for our recap of Top Gun Maverick. If you want to see more movie recaps and reviews, be sure to subscribe to Real Recap. And don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with your friends. 
Thanks for watching.